Bill is still downstairs. We had a huge shipment come in and we could not leave the boxes outside for two hours. So that's what we were doing. Sorry we're late, y'all. Um, but we can't leave shipments outside. You know, this is what happens when you work from home, okay? So Bill is um I hear him downstairs tearing up stuff. So he'll be up here in a moment. But this is how it is to work from your own home. So I apologize that we're late. Um, we are the shipping department and the unpacking department. Even Strawberry is out of breath right now. Yeah, so we had to drag some boxes in because um, we didn't want to leave them outside during the live stream. But it's a bright and sunny day. So how are y'all doing today? We're here, okay? We are, we're multitasking, but we are here, okay? And of course, we got both dogs in the craft room with us. I'm going to be uh, working on some scraps here, making something spring-like. So Bill is here right now. And um, of course, with that shipment that came in, those shipments of packages, look what else came in, y'all, with that shipment. So remember, some of you pre-ordered these stamp sets, and they are here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm out of breath. Let me let me get some. Uh, <laughs> let me just drink just a little bit of something. Um, I see y'all in there. We're gonna pull it up on the TV in a moment. Strawberry, if you can hear the breathing, Strawberry is just out of breath right now. So a lot going on in the craft room. How are y'all doing today? Strawberry, you doing good? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please don't upset Gooby. Please don't upset Gooby. You know what? The idea from the vertical stamps, right? Um, a couple of, I think it might have been like a year ago. Uh, let's see, about a year ago, I think it was, um, Sarah, Sarah Johnson, is she on here? She asked about a vertical stamp. When y'all ask about certain stamps, I write it down. It's not that we can get to it right away, but down the line, if we have enough requests, we may end up, um, doing that particular thing. So yeah, Sarah Johnson, y'all can thank Sarah Johnson um, for the vertical stamps. I look like I'm too far away. I need y'all to be closer to me because um, <laughs> I'm going to do some coloring and, and some stamping. Uh, I'm going to make some spring embellishments today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm straightening uh, it out now. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I just want to bring it in a little bit closer there. So I think y'all should be good. Let's see. Let me. I don't like us. I don't want y'all going downhill. <laughs> uh, great idea, right? On that vertical stamp. So yeah, look at look how. And this is a photopolymer stamp set for those of you that are new. You also we gave you a little heart and little star if you wanted to kind of put a star at the beginning of the sentiment and at the end uh, we have, let's see. So for those of you that pre-ordered, um, we'll start shipping tomorrow. We'll start shipping tomorrow. So blame it on Sarah Johnson. <laughs> so we've got, of course, we've got thank you on there. 
let me get my fancy schmancy pointer. We have thank you and oh, here we go. I had to get my fancy stuff out here. Thank you, celebrate, hello, love you, congrats, miss you, just because, best wishes, happy birthday, hugs, cheers, praying, always got to have that on there, praying, sympathy, get well, smile, Hooray, joy, blessings, beautiful day, grateful. And so then we have the star and we have the heart. So this is called the vertical stamp set and it's in the store now. I just put the link in. I'm also going to pin it at the top of the chat. The other stamp set that we have. The link will show you both cards. I mean, both the stamp sets. The other stamp set that we have. And this is this is also in um, digital. Both of these are also in digital, so that you can resize. We have the write your own story in photopolymer. Many of you were asking about this one, and now it is in photopolymer. And you notice we have to adjust when we make when we go from photopolymer to making a four by six stamp set. Everything becomes condensed and that's the beauty of having this like say you want the photopolymer um or you want the um digital the digital you can readjust the images you can make them larger let's see if i can find one here and these photopolymer stamp sets have been reduced 10 percent for this period so this is the Here's, here's what the digital looks like, because you can make it smaller or larger. Here's what the photopolymer looks like. Some people get both, because um, they like to have one that you can stamp with. Excuse me. <clears throat> and some people use um, the digital, so they can just resize it. You can make these as large or as small as you want. As large or as small as you want. Let me see what y'all are saying. Yeah, y'all have been going like crazy over this one. Now, someone asked me if the Utterly Amazing stamp set is going to be in photopolymer. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So the digital crafting is a, is a uh, game changer, but we do realize that many of you also want your physical stamp set. So here it is. The digitals, as soon as you buy it, you download it, boom, you're good to go. <laughs> you're good to go. So a lot going on this week with um, stamp sets and... Um, card making and oh there's a tutorial coming out later on today i got a tutorial for you yeah it's nice to have both options jill nice to have both options and so some some of you might be wondering how you would use the um you can use this for any card that you make right as far as the vertical any type of card you can use this on Yuli says i prefer my physical stamps well here you are <laughs> here they are so yes uh, many of you bought the bundle so you'll be getting both of these will be shipped out to you and so now they are in the store as individuals for those of you there was a discount on the um on the uh if you bought the bundle with well, both of these together well the bundle was like i think about 16 percent this one right here right now since we separated them during this period i think until sunday it's going to be 
ten percent off. Yes, I had I had fun with that one. I had fun. Y'all are going crazy over the um over that uh utterly amazing stamp set. <laughs> uh, Y'all are going crazy over that. When you say is that one digital, which one? The vertical or the write your own story? Both of them Both are. Yeah. But, but which one? Because I can put the link up here. The words, okay. Uh, yeah, I think these are going to be pretty big sellers, um, Yudi, because we hadn't we hadn't released the photopolymer in a while, so grab them when you can. Usually, uh, they go pretty quickly. Oh, the words, yes, the words are also um, are digital as well. Crystal Talbert, how Crystal are you? Talbert. Bam. Oh, Yudi said, Tracy, congratulations on craft roulette cards. You did great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I had a good old time creating the card. And I was so happy to see that the hubbies, the hubbies were craft rouletting. Okay. Thank you, Donna. Here's the cards from craft roulette. And we've gone over 40, uh, over 400 cards were submitted. I think this is the last day. Uh, we'll have a count soon as far as how many total. But I think it was like a hundred. It was like 430 uh, cards, 430 plus cards submitted so far um, on their website, the craftroulette.live website. Um, so I know that the cutoff was Sunday, um, unless you were a patron of Craft Roulette. You could, I think you have up until today to submit your card. But it was fun. We had so many feedback, so many new people who said that they just laughed so much. I mean, we're, we weren't trying to make anyone laugh. It just happens, you know? That's the best laughter when it's genuine and it's just, it's just fun. So we had a great time with... Um, Mary Gun Fun and Mr. Producer. We had a great time with them. And so if they invite us back, <laughs> we would probably do it again, okay? If they invite us back, we'll do it again. Yes, we will. So put the word out there, y'all. Put the word out there. <laughs> well, Jill Pound says, I love that husbands are getting involved. I love it. Y'all, I don't think y'all understand. We got husbands. Even if they're just, even if the hubbies are just tuning in, you know, and just saying, you know, hey, what, you know, even if they're just listening in the background, I know some of you, your husbands or even your family just are listening in the background. We absolutely love it. If you even feel like Hector who, who feeds Carmina so she has <laughs> the strength to last Hector's his always long life. I know, right? Hector's always cooking something. And both John Pounds and uh, Norma Watson's husband. I call him Mr. Watson. <laughs> they made incredible cards. I was so happy to see Norma's husband create a card, too, and post it in the group. I was straddling the fence, but when John put his card up, I got it so inspired, I had to do something. <laughs> I was like, John? Wow. Cordelia says it's 438 submissions. Oh, wow. Okay. Numbers are going it up. It is the night, so if anyone hasn't submitted, this is your opportunity. Right, if you're a patron. Right. Now, the record, I think, is 471. So unless we have a mad rush near the end. <laughs> Cordelia went and checked for us. Thanks, Cordelia. Amy said, Tracy, you got the best parameters. Those parameters were great, weren't they? I was already thinking about them when I um when they came up. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good." So yeah, y'all, we're gonna do some spring crafting today because spring is in the air. Not really. <laughs> Flowers blooming. But says, "What blooming. can I say? I'm nosy." Laugh out loud. Okay, so. These flowers are from uh, every um, 
I think everything is beautiful. <laughs> Beauty in everything. That's what um, the flowers are from. And uh, you'll get the tutorial for these on uh, actually this afternoon. About 4.30, I got a tutorial scheduled to come out. Was that the, that was the photopolymer, right? Huh? Yes, uh-huh. Beauty and everything. And this is actually a digital, so you can make them larger or smaller. But, yeah, if y'all haven't grabbed up your stamp sets yet, the photopolymers are here. That's one of the boxes that we had to drag in. We couldn't leave these out. Um, yeah, the... The ones that had the stamps, we had to drag that in, okay? And that beauty and everything is in there. Along with some others. Retirement area. So instead of $14.95, I think it's $6.99. Oh, the retired stamp area? You said who? Beauty and everything. That I'm putting oh, in that's right. right. That's now. a retired stamp, y'all. If y'all want to get that, uh, let's see if I have one here. Yep, this is a, a retired photopolymer, so... I love this stamp, which is one of them that I'm going to use today, actually. Already loaded up. So let's get some spring embellishments done here. I'm going to be doing a whole hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, Bertha is checking in. Bertha! Bertha's checking in. Bertha, I saw that picture of you and your lovely granddaughter. I know. I said, look, I this is it. where it began, and here's where it is. No, here's where it continues. It <laughs> continues. Here's this person say, that's right. That's how we do. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of feedback on um, our craft roulette appearance. So thanks to all of you. Um, Y'all were like, Tracy, I'm so proud of you. Tracy and Bill, we're just so proud of you. A lot of new people coming in to our channel, into our crafty community. You are so, so welcome. So anyone new, y'all give them a warm welcome to anybody that's new. Uh, share some mindless crafting blue hearts, okay? Some hi, honey. Some turquoise or aqua, <laughs> aqua blue hearts for anyone that's um, coming in. We we appreciate you, and you are so welcome here in our craft space. And just in case you were confused, Tracy, I wasn't talking to you when I said hi, honey. I was talking to Honey Harwood. Oh, I wasn't even listening. What? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Hey, honey. <laughs> Wanda. So you're going to make something, aren't you? See, now you weren't listening, honey. <laughs> uh, honey wasn't listening. Mm, I'm sure you we're see talking what I'm about saying? Honey, honey Harwood, aren't you? Don't throw honey under the bus. Not honey me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bill wasn't listening. What? Uh, Crystal, don't laugh at her. Don't encourage her. Okay. Okay. So let's make some <laughs> spring embellishments. I'm cutting this in half, y'all. Yep. I'm cutting it in half. Like, yep, I she, did thumbs up. Why is she cutting this in half? Thanks to both. Oh, no, I didn't. Because I thought I about can. it. So thanks to both Gay Tan and Linda Veal. I thumbs up myself. So sometimes you don't want to make like a um, like a whole project, and you might want to make like a something smaller, like embellishments, right? Honeybee Stampin' High says there's a lot of honey in this chat. A lot of honey. <laughs> honey so i'm using like packaging because packaging is like the best right i got some circular stuff got got an oval make some spring stuff but let's go ahead and color some of these get some color in on these things and then i've got some leftover spring um actually easter paper leftover paper from easter so i'm trying to use 
some of the stuff that I already have, right? Jennifer Real, uh, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer says, you consider making the digitals in the photopolymer stamps. Actually, I did it in reverse. I, I went through every one of our photopolymer stamps and made them into digitals. Wh which digitals? What do you mean, which the digitals? The digitals into photopolymer. Yeah. Now, if there's any photopolymer that's not, excuse me, if there's any digital that's not a photopolymer, it's because it really didn't, it just wasn't cost effective. Like we have one that was like, uh, uh, it was like a house, some, it was like an obscure holiday. And it just didn't make sense. It didn't sense go well. Yeah, it didn't. To do that. We didn't have a whole lot of requests. Yeah. Right. So, um, sometimes it could be hit or miss. But yeah, yeah these in particular are photopolymer, the ones that I'm working with right now. And the ones we just released today are photopolymer, like the um these two these are the two this is the one that i know i think jennifer you were asking about this one at one point um write your own story and the write your own story is just so it's just so different and unique um but this one is also available in digital I'm using my scraps. <laughs> so let's put some bright yellow on here. It's beautiful outside. Well, it's not beautiful. It's kind of cold to me. I'm like, look, spring. Come on. Spring is in the air. Birds are looming. Flowers blooming. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> spring is here, spring is here. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> when will the pre-order be out? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. I was typing. Which, which pre-order? Hmm? The pre-order on these two right here. When will it be out? If we're shipping them out. You mean shipped out? Oh, and, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah we yeah. actually we put on the website that they'll be shipped out tomorrow, and they will be shipped out tomorrow. Right, right. and of course, any of the individuals will be shipped out also. Okay, look how cute that looks. That red and pink. Should I do one and reverse it and do a pink with yellow on the inside? Something like that. And look how pretty it's going to look with that paper, right? Let's see. So we'll reverse the colors. Kieran Hankinson. Do one with the pink. Kieran Hankinson says spring may be in the air, but it sure doesn't feel like it. It does not feel like it. <laughs> spring is, is on the ground somewhere, okay? Um, I was looking at uh, Sonia Creel. Yeah, I was reading it. It went by so fast. Time. It went by so Hurry fast. Up. Sonia says, hey, Tracy. Could, you could have a 3D flower set if you use sets of florals together using humpers. You could do, you could do that. Mm -hmm. You sure can. I need something a little bit more vibrant. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that one's a little bit darker. I'm trying to look at the colors on here. I just saw match them up. I just saw a comment here. It says, uh, "Where's it at? Uh, where's it at?" I forgot to sing the song. Hello, 
Crafty family, how are you? Hello, Crafty family, how are you? It's such a lovely day. And I'm glad you came to play. Hello, Crafty family, how are you? Oh, here it is. Wanda Rose was talking about Shay's videos on her channel. She says, when I I love to watch your channel, you always cheer me up. Right? And I happen to go over to Shay's channel just that quick. She has all kind of little stuff on here on chili, roasting, and peeling. And, uh, you know, here's one on an air fryer. You talking about all of Shay? No. Oh, you talking about Shay? Shay, oh, okay. Shay. I'm getting... I'm getting mixed up here. No, this is the original Shay, okay? She has all kind of cooking stuff. Salads here. Uh-oh. Shay, I'm going to put your link here for people in case they want to see the diversity of your channel. See what Shay is up see to. See what Shay is doing over here. Has anyone heard from all of Shay? I'm going to check. I'll get in touch with her. Hope everything is okay over there. In her neck of the woods. All right. I just put the link right there. Go and check her out. When you get a chance. And if you're so inclined, subscribe. Oh, that's awesome. Bertha. Bertha is sending prayers out to all of the Crafty family that's going through health and family issues. Thank you. Mercy said, what's the name of Shay's channel? Take one guess. It's called Shay. Shay, <laughs> Shay believes in keeping it simple, don't you? Okay. How pretty that looks already. That's gonna look that's gonna look so cute. Um let's see. I have some paper that's blue, so let's do a blue combo. We can do a blue and kind of looks like green. That's a blue and yellow combo. Let's do a blue and yellow combo on that one. A bunch of people just subscribed to Shay. Awesome. I did too, Shay. Awesome. Jennifer has to go. Shay's going to be like, sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me. Shay, Shay, Shay it's like, us. Wait a minute. I don't know if I like all these people watching Shay, me. Shay's going to be like, uh, we're going to be like, yeah, Shay, it's us watching you. It's us. we be like, did y'all see Shay? Mm. Shall <laughs> Andre White says, how's your mom, Grace? She's doing good. We saw her on Sunday. She's over there creating stuff. Having a little bit of problems with her wrist. It's the wrist that she, um, it's the one she crochets with. And so uh, she has a brace that she's been wearing. And sometimes we go over there and she doesn't have her brace on. So I have to go and remind her mom, you're supposed to be taking a, like two weeks off from crocheting. And guess what she does? She doesn't take it off. She doesn't take the time off. Okay. She does not take the time off. Hi, Steve. How you doing? How are you doing? Steve Reed is here. Oh my goodness. Steve was so happy to see we you. We are. Oh my goodness. Steve, we're praying for you. We are. But we're so happy that you logged on with us today. What a blessing. You know what, Steve, you were talked about and, and just who you are as a person shared about 
so intensely, we felt like we knew you. Yes. You know, really, truly. We're praying for you and your family, Steve. Wow. So for those of you that don't know, Steve is Karen Reed's husband. Exactly. And we're so happy to see you. So keep Steve and his family in, in you know, keep Steve and his family in, in your prayers. I want, just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you. Karen thoroughly enjoyed you and your crafting. Oh my goodness, Steve, we enjoyed Karen. Just seeing her name up here right now on the live stream, you know, it's just a blessing. And we know she's watching over over us. We know she's she's doing the ultimate crafting right now in heaven. And we we really appreciate this. It's moments like these that just kind of get you, you know. We're we're glad, like I said before, Steve, we had done like um we were talking about. Karen on several live streams and Karen um, was such a blessing and we just say that we have so many of her footprints of the things that she's created in our group and also we're glad that she chose us we're so happy that she chose us so what a blessing that you logged on today and you that you're here you know you're here and 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 i just have to tell you that your wife was an absolute blessing to us she was a beautiful part of our crafty family and she had a lot of amazing uh friendships out even with individuals inside this group yes and touched their lives as well she touched so many of us yeah man yep oh <sighs> Thank you so much for Matt, your prayers as well. Still adjusting to the new normal. Yeah, take your time, Steve. Take your time. I can't even imagine. It, it, as strange as it sounds, Steve, every time I even think of a snake, I think of Karen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think of both of you, actually. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey. We had some good times. Boy. And that's why you create memories. You create memories, you know? I tell you what, I remember uh, just last, it was last fall, I think, I saw a snake, and I was telling Tracy, I was like, Tracy, where's Steve when you need him? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Yes, Carmina, yes, she was, and, and we, we miss her. Crystal says, strength and love cover and life you. Cover your life. Cover your life, Stephen. Yes. Kamina says, Karen is a beautiful person. I miss her. Rhonda Higgins says, Karen was my friend. We had some great conversations. Yes. And that's, and that's, what, that's what you want to do. You want to leave some beautiful footprints. And uh, Steve, if you ever, you know, when you get a chance, if you want, um, in the group, we have so many um, of her projects that she shared with the group. So you're you're so welcome to go and take a look. I mean, you know, if if whenever you're up to it. Steve, I want to thank you for answering my message when I was wondering why Karen. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, we love you, Steve. And what a blessing today that Steve has logged in and, and 
you know. And we miss, we miss her, you know, we miss her because she was such an incredible person, you know, she, and, and that's why we always talk about impact and someone leaving an impact. What is the impact that you want to leave when, when we're gone, you know, like we're not going to be here forever, but when we are gone, what kind of impact do we want to leave? I'm not going to lie, when I actually, when I saw Karen, Karen Reed's name pop up. My heart just leapt, right? Just a little bit, you know. I mean, it kind of touched me a little bit, you know? Me too. Hi, Marcia. Yeah, sending condolences to all the families that have um, that have so much loss. We've had a lot of loss these last couple of months. Um, actually, the year has been tough, but we're we're thankful that we were able on our journey through this wonderful crafting community, through YouTube or whatever the cyberspace is, whatever, however we've met, you know that we had a chance to cross paths, you know? Carmina says, when I saw her name. Uh, tears just came down. I understand, Carmina. Believe me, I do. She loved being on the live streams too. She had a wonderful sense of humor. She always had a kind word. Yep. She Very always, always encouraging. encouraging. Yep. Yeah. We all have a chance to make an impact. This is just a testimony that we all, what is your impact going to be? What is it going to be? That's powerful, Nora. Nora says, the Lord is near those who grieve. Mm. Hi, Violet Lilac. Hello, welcome. Man, Nora says, crafting in your show saved me. My son passed away in January. <gasps> I love listening to the community. Mm, mm, mm. And that's why we'll continue to show up. That's why we continue to show up because we know there's so many people on here that are hurting. And guess what? Y'all still show up. Even, even in the midst of devastation sometimes, in the midst of grief, in the midst of not being healthy, right? Health challenges. Y'all still show up. As long as there's breath in your body, we're still showing up. Look how Steve logs on and Karen is still watching over us. Her presence is still felt. And I don't know about you, but when I leave this world, I want my presence to still be felt because that means I touch so many people. And so we have the ability to touch a whole lot of people while we're still here, even in the midst of stuff that we're going through. Because whatever you're going through is a testimony for someone else who's just barely making it. Just barely making it. And sometimes we don't need to find all the words when someone's hurting. But sometimes we just need to be a listening ear. And that's why we are powerful. Because guess what? We're sitting here paper crafting. We can send someone a card who's hurting and say, I'm thinking about you. And watch how that person feels like someone sees me, I can hold on another day. 
And I say it with emotion in my voice because I really want y'all to get it. Pretty paper doesn't matter. You don't have to keep it. You share it with someone else. You have extra craft supplies, share it with someone else, just like Karen did. Karen Reed shared, she sent me happy mail, she sent me cards, and I know so many of you were recipients of some of the stuff that, that she uh, sent you. I even went back and looked at the conversations that me and Karen have had on Facebook, on Facebook Messenger. And so whenever I can want to think about Karen or Asia, who, we, who recently passed as well, or so many others, I can look at their footprints that they left in our mindless crafting group and say, you know what? I knew her when, and I have a good feel. I'm gonna miss her, but I have such a good feeling about her and what she did and how she blessed me and how we crossed paths. Ooh, y'all got me emotional today but I'm so thankful for it. Hi, Paula, and hi, Shauna. Let's see, I'm going to do this one in green. Uh, Marcy Jones, I put Shay's link up so you could follow it. Or over on the side of uh, where her name is, you see the three dots. If you click on those, you'll see one of the prompters is going to say go to channel. If you click that, you'll go right to her channel that way also. Oh, do they still do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hi, Barbara Link. Oh, thank you, Ann. I appreciate it. She said, Tracy, I'm thankful for you and Bill. Steve says, the doctors asked her every day if she was in pain, and every day she said she had none. So both of those requests were granted. I believe that she was granted immunity from pain due to the fact that, and I have to finish that sentence off as soon as Steve finishes it. Steve, I don't know what, what prompted you to log on today, but there's a message in all of this. There's a message for each and every one of us. Right. It was not by There's accident. a message for each and every one of us in this live stream. So we're so thankful for you, Steve, for logging in today. While I'm waiting on Steve to finish that last sentence, I have to acknowledge that Ann Ryan did go and see Patty LaBelle, okay? She says, Oh, she did. <laughs> my gosh, what a show. She's something else. I I me and my mother went to see her in New York and she puts on a show. And I and that's years ago. So I can only imagine. She's like, she's she's like what, late 70s now, Patty LaBelle? <laughs> the energy timeless, her okay? energy is just like off the charts. Okay, here's the last sentence. Steve, he says, I believe that she was granted immunity from pain due to the fact that she had such a charitable heart and never had any malice towards anyone. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, Ryan says she's 79. And her wow. voice is amazing. Hey, LaBelle, 79, yeah. Patty does not play, okay? I tell you what, if you own a ticket with Patty, you better show come ready, okay? I, I know this. Patty, Patty LaBelle will give you a head start and then go lay on the on the grand piano on her back by eating a 
uh, a chicken rib. I mean, a, a chicken rib, a chicken bone. <laughs> Eating barbecue and seal jam, you right on off that stage, okay? Glitter and duct tape. Hey, glitter and duck <laughs> tape. I haven't seen you in a second, glitter. Oh. Barbara Lake is fine. Y'all, I got a little hand. bit. I got a little bit emotional just because, you know. I, I'm just hoping that someone on here is hearing this message because I'm receiving that message too. That Steve logged in here today, and when I saw Karen's name pop up there for a moment, my heart just kind of leapt a little bit, like just took my breath away. And just how fortunate we are. And 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 we get reminders that to be a blessing every day to someone because you never know when it, that it's going to be your last. You never know. We don't know when it's going to be our last day. So use all the, the paper, cut into the papers and the and 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 give some stuff away. It, it's okay. Bless someone else. You can't take the stuff with you. You can't take the stuff with you. Of so just take a look at that paper you've been sitting up on your Damn, shelf. It's just too been pretty. Been there for five years. Right. You've been saving for that special occasion, and you grab that paper today. Today you woke up. It's a today. special. It's a special occasion. And get busy. Up right. In here, okay? I woke up today. It's a special oh, occasion. Let me get this paper. Today is the day. I'm on this live today. It's a special occasion. Okay. You were meant to be in this space. We're meant to be in this space together today. You may not believe it, but God brought us all together. And he brought us together for a reason. Oh, man, it's deep. Crystal says her spirit misses us. So Steve is her message delivery of love. You better tell it. You better tell it. You better say it. Rhonda Higgins says, says uh, Karen was one of the few people that she could have a deep discussion with about politics, but yet we both learned something more about ourselves in the process. Isn't that something? That's saying that? something because I I make it a point to really not talk about politics and uh, anything like that, you know, because it can get kind of messy. But if you can meet someone that you can have a have a conversation like that, and even if you have differences of opinion, what a blessing! You still speak with love. It, it's the is the underlying basis of everything that you say or do. That's a friendship that's forever. Yeah. Mm, mm, Sissy Pants Craft says, I cut into some papers that I've been hogging onto for a long time, hoping to do this and that. I'm learning it's okay to let it go. It's I okay need to, to let, let it, it go. go. I need to let so much more than paper go. Yep. Let it go. Why are we why are we carrying that? It's like carrying a backpack with bricks in it. You know how heavy that is? So you got this backpack on your back and you're carrying it. Why? Why are you carrying it? Let it go. My legs hurt, my back hurt. I have trouble walking. I can't focus. Because you need to. Yep. We had we had go. a crafter that passed away um a year ago and I, I remember I I wish I shared this with y'all before. And her husband said that she needs to talk to me, that she wanted to talk to me. So we called her. And when I got her on the phone, right, 
And I could tell that she was really, um, I didn't know that two weeks later she would pass, but I know her husband said she was really sick. And so she said, Tracy, I bought one of your kits and it's absolutely beautiful, but I'm not gonna be able to use it. She said, I never got to use that beautiful kit. And, and there's some papers that I bought from you. I never got to use those papers. And so two weeks later, she had passed away. And uh, her husband had informed, had informed me that she had passed away. And I get emotional because this is the same woman that donated her entire craft room to me. Her husband calls me up and says, my wife, she said, he said, Tracy, she said, you would know what to do with it you would know what to do with it. And I could have taken it and said, yeah, I'll get that and I'll, I'm gonna keep it in my craft room. But I told him, share it with a senior center. They have, they would appreciate it. They have places for people, um, you know, most senior centers or um, nursing homes have a craft room. And so that's what, that's what he um, did was he donated to, um, the community uh, nursing homes in his area. And I, I say that because we holding on to stuff. Okay, you have gems, you have a ton of gems, you have a ton of Dollar Tree stickers, you've got, you probably got a ton of, just ton of paper and stuff. Go ahead and share it. Bless someone. Bless someone. Someone asked me, Tracy, you give away so much of your stuff. What are you going to have? It's not what I have. It's the feeling that I get. So it's not like something that you can say, God is going to bless me with more. That's true. It's this feeling inside that I get when I share with someone else. So I'll never run out of stuff. And, and the thing is, we're supposed to pour into people. So if, if I'm telling you to share and I'm not sharing, then that, that doesn't, that wouldn't make sense. So give away the stuff. Yeah, it's beautiful stuff. You've looked at it. Now share it with someone else so they can look at it. Exactly, Sonia Creel. Sonia says, when you open your hands, God refills. Right. You're pouring out and releasing, creating an emptiness that can now be filled. And you can retain. Right. Because oftentimes, if, if it's too full, even if you, even if you receive, it's just going to spill out over the edges and you're going to end up losing. You know what I mean? You're going to get something, but you're not really retaining it. Yeah. Not really. And I've got a lot more to give away, too. You know? Still more stuff. And you do that well, Rhonda. Rhonda said, I love pouring into others. Malaya Branch says, I know I never run out of stuff and hope to pass it on. Yes. Gigi says, there will always be another be another beautiful pack of paper. Yeah. So let's send out the blessings we can to hold. Yeah. Some people are surprised when I send out the card that I created on the, um, like, right on the channel. Like, oh my goodness, this is a card from your tutorial. Yeah. I mean, it's not even so much about sending it out. Oftentimes, it, what it is, is when I look at this incredible paper, I can't even get to the point of sending it out. I don't want to mess up the paper. Right. <laughs> I said, oh my God, this paper is so incredible. Yeah. 
I simply can't cut into it. I have to wait until the, the, the greatest level of inspiration hits me or a bolt of lightning from the sky touches me and illuminates <laughs> my creative spirit. I mean, whatever it is that you, we tell ourselves to not get involved with that paper and hoard it for God knows how for long. For another 20 years. Yeah. Or, or the it's the only one of its kind. It sold out years ago, and I surely can't use this one. Use that paper. Sarah Johnson says, I find that the more I give away, the more comes back to me the that more I wasn't even expecting. Exactly. Exactly. That part. Sonny Creel says, Tracy, is this how your paper hooks got its creation? That's exactly how the paper hugs got its creation. Yep. And people are like, I can't believe you sent me that. Like, that's something that you made. Yeah, I'm, I'm making it so I can send it to you. Bertha says, you have inspired her to cut out some butterflies as she watches this live. Oh, I love it. This flower is so fun to cut out. You see, I'm just moving the paper, not the scissors. Leaving a little white border around it. Bertha, Tracy has different containers that have stuff like that. One, I have a bunch of butterflies. Another one have these flowers like she's cutting out. Another one will have a bunch of clusters she's created. Another one, will, you know, like that. Yeah, because then I could put the paper hugs together pretty quick. Right. When the inspiration hits. Well, when, you, yeah, and, and when y'all, like, like if y'all, when y'all order the paper hugs, I have them already on hand, ready to ship out. Shauna says, your fussy cutting skills are amazing. I struggle with fussy, fussy cutting. Can I Look. tell Shauna the secret? Shauna, let me tell you the secret, but only because Tracy it's told me. It's not even a secret. She told me about 50 times before I actually listened to her. I struggled so badly. I, I felt like I was trying everything. She kept saying, turn the paper, not the scissors. Turn the paper, not the... I was yeah, 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 yeah. And I was doing everything, and finally one day I accidentally turned the paper and not the scissors, and lo and behold, I found myself cutting, fussy cutting with great, much greater ease. It's called Listen to Your Wife, dear. Thank you, Donna. Sadly. Donna, Donna Sadler just... Uh, Put up the links to the vertical sentiments, photo column of Sam said, and the write your own story. Yeah. Uh, oh, you might as well put the paper hugs up there too. They're ten percent off right now. Paper hugs. This one. Oh, paper hugs. And this, these flowers are from Beauty in Everything. I could actually add some dimension to these too. Hmm. I think I will do that. Okay, I just put it up. So I says, look, I've already tried turning the paper, okay, buddy? <laughs> I've tried that. Okay, Shauna. So much for that one, okay? <laughs> Looks like you'll be getting us it's very a scan and cut. It's very relaxing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Minister Liz. Oh, Paula Williams. Paula says, goodness, my first live, and I can feel the amazing spirit from this community. Oh, wow. Can't wait to craft over the long weekend and share the love. Oh. Well, Paula, let me also send you uh, information here about our Mind and Crafting group on Facebook. 
we invite you to join. Uh, just know that when you go there, you're going to be asked three questions. Be sure to answer those but you can't get in. But it's a great group. People um, upload their projects or they go there for inspirations. And the one thing you're going to find, or you're always going to find positive commentary. Yes, you are. You're going to find, you, what you're not going to find is, is negative. You're not. Anything, because if it shows up, <laughs> Oh, I'm person not. Is out I, of there. I don't play with negativity in the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't happen. There's no thumbs down. There's no uh, what do you call it? We want a safe space. Mean emojis. There's none of that. I don't play, and I don't. I don't like. Um, oh well, let me just give you a second chance. Mm -mm. Nope. There's enough. You, you come negativity. in there to be to be spiteful. I, I just don't do it. But for the most part, I haven't had to do that much. No, you haven't. But you know what? And that's another reason why we have those three questions, because we feel like three questions is such a simple thing to comply with an answer. If you can't do that, there's no way you're going to comply with uh, common courtesy and, and the basic group rules with the inside the, the group. You know, I hope that makes sense. It's a beautiful space. Yeah. I was apprehensive about starting um, the group. Look how cute that embellishment is going to look. It's already coming together, right? It's beginning to look a lot like... Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. So see, this, the secret, the truth comes out. Shauna says, Well, probably the reason my fussy cutting skills are so poor and I'm not improving is because I have a cricket, okay? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Exactly. We have a well, cricket. Cricket on, okay. Who needs fussy cutting? I still need it. I have a cricket. Uh, you know, I still need my fussy cutting. <laughs> fussy cutting does something to my mind, okay? Yes, that is true. Sonia Creel and, uh, K, uh, and Amy K. Tracy was on the May Bay's sign team for about five years, I think. Yep. Sure was. But well, I, I remember as a kid, though, picking up scissors. And I was so happy, like, you know, like, you know how you get the safe scissors? You don't, you're not sharp like this. How your mom gives you the safe scissors. With the rounded edges. With the rounded edges. And that was it for me. I've been cutting up ever since. And coloring. I always was really good at coloring. Like, I mean, you know, with the cutting, it helps with motor skills and stuff like that and writing. So those things came pretty easy to me as a kid coloring in the lines you know anything that was crafty i just i just loved it i want you Rhonda higgins tell shauna use that cricket girl use that cricket use it <laughs> look while my cricket is in the box use that it's cricket. okay use your cricket Look how pretty that this is the um like this Linda is the Huffman. this is the paper from the Easter kit. Linda Huffman, we don't have to tell you to use your cricket, do we? Beanie Freak says, look, I bought a scanning cut just so I wouldn't have to fuzzy cut. <laughs> Love it. I got one too. I got one of those too. I tell you what, when you're ready to get serious, if you have a large volume of things to cut out, you cannot beat a scanning cut or, right. or a cricket. But yeah, the scanning cut we use when we have like something it's so that's so fast large, and accurate. Large volume. It's amazing. But for now. To keep Tracy's mind right, I cut. Exactly. Gay Ten says it's a great group. I was scared at first to post my cards, but now that's why I, I tell post people often and love to read the comments. I tell people go and post their post your stuff. You, you know why? Because there's only one you, and no matter what you do, there's no one who's the who. Who's going to do it like that, at least not without seeing yours? Well, people can be brutal in groups. I've been in groups. I've had to come out, you know, just because it was just too much. It, it was They can be really brutal. And so I've left groups so that I can focus on my group now. I knew 
when I, I was apprehensive about starting a group because I had seen other groups. And so I, I'm so glad we started it though. I'm so glad that I, I said, you know what? I'm going to start it. It was the wrong group. That's why. Yeah. That's like, I, I've told a story often of how. I shouldn't have been there, right? I mean, it was a crafting group though. These were several crafting groups. I'm like, Oh goodness, what what are y'all arguing over? I'm like, so yeah. Hey, growing up as a kid, I've sung in so many choirs, like mass choirs, state choirs, all kind of stuff, right? And the best uh, singing uh, group I've ever been, a choral, whatever you want to call it, the best I've ever been in was a men's uh, group that they were there just for the because we were there we were just there to to and y'all were to support one another y'all weren't a large group either no, we a small, large group. y'all had about what 20 20 men in that yeah, group? something like that and, and most much. most groups large large uh singing uh, choirs there's a competitive thing that always is underlying and, go, uh, and going on it's not talked about but it's there in the men's group it wasn't there they were just there it was incredible. We were actually in there crying, praying for different people. One guy was praying for his son, who was, uh, his son was in jail for something or another. And he was talking about how he tried to do this and that. And he really please pray for And trying son. to keep a strong front, we were front there, right? Just crying. Which I was, was like, nice. Oh my God. Praying. Because right. we could feel his pain. And the effort and the love he poured into his son, who seemingly just was unable to receive. And we were just praying, please, Lord, open up a conduit so his love, so his son can receive at least a few drops of his love. If he can just get that, that would be enough to start the process. Uh-oh, Rhonda Higgins says, Tracy, tell Miss Ellen I finally mastered the double crochet and the herringbone stitch. Oh, wow. It took me six months of practice and so much yarn. Look at you. You did it. Actually, my mother needs some white yarn. I need to put that on my list. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> on here. Okay. Oh, Paula said she did join the Facebook group, Facebook group yesterday. Oh, awesome. There you go, Paula. Welcome. I'm late. I think that looks cute with some something around the the edge here. On says, look, I got my new Aldi markers yesterday. I don't have much time with packing. Aldi. But I'm gonna Aldi. call us something even if I have to get my granddaughter's coloring book, okay? That's when you know Aldi you're serious. Has Terry, so? look, look, don't have us all rushing over to all these. <laughs> Terry is ready. She's red Tay, not ready. Red Tay. Okay. She's ready. Tina Barker is telling Terry, you sound like me this morning. It was a challenge in another craft group to make a card that features a stencil, a tag, and pastel colors. You know what Tina Barker said? Okay, Tina Barker got busy on that car, didn't you, Tina? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tina says, I wish I could send your mom some yarn. I have so much. She would love that. I know there was somebody years ago oh sent my God. mother like four boxes Hold of up. yarn. I mean, it was... When she says four boxes, the box it was, was about... Each each box was about three and a half feet tall, 
maybe about two feet wide for each side. It was so much yarn, you would think she would never be able to use it. Please. And she did. <laughs> she finished that yarn off like, please. And she did. I love when I cut this out and then I turn it over and I see what it looks like. What a happy day. <laughs> Let's see. All right, guys, I'm going to put a link in here. Here's something different I actually tried. So we have a stamp set called the Hugs and Fishes stamp set. I ought to go down and get it so you can see it. But it's 50% off. It was normally, actually it's more than 50. It was normally $14.99. Right now it's $6.99. It's and a photopolymer. It is follow part of, I can't even say it. Follow part of, follow part of. Yeah, that, that's what it is. <laughs> follow part of. <laughs> Photopolymer. <laughs> but. Tongue twister. In the image, it actually, for that, the card that Tracy made, it's placed inside of a fishbowl. Well, since there's not a fishbowl there. Oh, yeah. I mean, including a free digital fishbowl. The download comes with that order. Just make sure you include your, uh. Your address. Your email yeah, address. Your email, yeah. Hold up. Let's see. That's a cute one. Let's see if I can find this. Show you what it looks like. Why am I getting ink all over my hands? I, I got to wash this ink off my hands. Sorry, y'all. I got a lot of ink on my hands, and now I got it on my desk. Okay. Oops, Put some wipes, y'all. Look at this. And then I touched the desk, and now I got it all over the desk. <laughs> I don't know what happened just now. All of a sudden, I got all that ink all over me. And this is what it looks like right here. It has the stamp set, of course. And here is the... The fishbowl template. The digital. Mm -hmm. And this is how Tracy used it. I thought that was cute. Sissy Pants, where are you from? Okay. I had ink all over my hands. And I got I gotta wipe down this desk so it doesn't stick on here. Okay, y'all, just a little. House cleaning so I don't get blue ink all over everything. Come in, so you have been crafting, okay? You know it's what we do. We could be in our craft room all day. <laughs> Burn up food and everything. I'm looking for a here. I think this will be nice on here. All that just to get this, right? Put a little border around this. Karen Hanks says, I'm not a gadget person when it comes to crafting, just the basics. And that's why I try to show y'all a lot with basics.
I like the gadgets, but I, I really love doing like some of the basic stuff. Okay, so well, Terry's asking me off the subject, am I into martial madness? Not right now. I fluctuate with and whenever an, an exciting player comes along, then I get into it. Like when Zion Williamson came along, then I was into March Madness. You know, or, or if uh what's the other kid I like? The one from Memphis, uh, John Moran. Anyone that has just incredible, just different ability. But Stephon Curry came along. Even Stephanie, even uh Tracy watched him. He's she was like, look at that little kid. My favorite player. Stephon Curry is my favorite player too. I love Stephon Curry. Okay, so I'm gonna just make these give these a little bit of dimension, y'all. So just I have to use the foamy, something foamy to give it dimension. And, and you know You what? could use a you could use a um what are those things? Uh, do people have mouse pads anymore? If you have a mouse pad, hold on to that because you can use that to make dimension on your on your flower. So what I do is I just take something wet. This is actually going to smell good because it's a baby wipe. <laughs> so I'm going to wet this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just dampen it just a little bit. Not a whole lot. What I, I was just mentioning how much I like Stephon Curry. One thing I like about Stephon Curry in particular is that he's the type of person that you would like even if he wasn't a basketball star. You know, just off the court, his compassion for people, everything he's doing to help, helping the homeless, the disenfranchised. He's just a great guy, you know. Hi, Joy Brown. Now that I decided to dimension, get put some dimension on these, I can't find my little tool. Joy says, I may be late, but I made it. You made it. Never would have made it. Joy says, yes, I did. And she said, yes, you did. <laughs> she said, and I did. Okay, I can't find my tool that would make help me get dimension on there. So guess what? I'm going to use whatever I have here. Make something with a little rounded edge on oh, it. Oh, Bertha, you like Bertha like Stephanie Curry. Okay, so. So just wet it up a little bit, right? And y'all have probably have seen me do this before. I can't find my tool. So I'm, I'm going to use this. It has a rounded edge on it. Oh, Sissy Pants Crab says, I've told the senior group in the library I work with about you. We are Team Tracy. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Shout NBL, out. But Tracy. Oh, Shout okay. out. Shout out to the group. <laughs> to the senior group and the library group. So I'm just rounding this, and you see how it's curling up? And then you can flip it over, and then you can just press in here just a little bit. Now, I didn't wet this enough, so it's trying to do. So you see how that's starting to curl up? But if I want it to curl even more, I can cut this away slightly, right? Just cut a little bit of this. Just cut into it. And that will help it to curl more. Bertha, Bertha likes Stephon Curry also. Oh, okay. One thing I have to say about LeBron, uh, Bertha, I don't think there's another player in any sport that even comes close to doing the things that LeBron James does off, off the court for others. I, kind of, I like that he has a heart for people like that. Oh, 
Art House, Tracy and Bill was meant to watch and craft with you today. My retreat building was supposed to start construction today. Wow. It was delayed by one day, which never happens. Your message is so on target. Mm, mm, mm. See how that's curling up a little bit? So it's adding a little bit of texture to the flower, too. And so you do this without piercing a hole through it. <laughs> without piercing a hole through it. Linda says, I'm back. I bought those vertical sentiments. Uploaded a cricket. Uh, put a banner shape around them. Cutting them out. Love it. Well, Linda's fast, boy. Linda can download something and make <laughs> a card with that doggone cricket. Linda, you did it already, huh? Like Speedy Gonzalez, okay? So you see what's happening there, y'all? So now, if I want to put my flower on there. You see how it has that dimension to it? Has a little bit of dimension. Bertha says when football season is over, she goes right into basketball, okay? Bertha, Bertha, one thing I tell people, I'm down here in Georgia, right? Now, Georgia's put so many people in the pros, like right out of high school and stuff like that, but I do not care as far as I'm concerned, there is no basketball that even compares to what, what's happening up in Michigan. It's just amazing. Yeah, I, that's my personal bias, probably because I'm from Michigan. But Lost my pen. Hmm. The level of creativity and power, precision, style in, in Michigan? Please. Did you find it? No. Oh, no, I didn't see Shay's question. Let me see. Shay's question. Shay said, so mind is crafting. I have a dilemma. My niece is getting married two miles from you in August of 2020, of 24. But I was starting to save money to go to your in-person crafting class in 25. Huh? Any ideals miss her? Hey, Shay. Ask me after the wedding. <laughs> you better go to that wedding. No, I'm telling her to ask me after Chelsea's wedding. <laughs> no, you better go see that niece. Your niece would be like, you didn't come to see me. Uh. Yeah, me too, Bertha. I like John Red too. Okay. A pink pearl would be nice on here. So you, your embellishments don't have to have a whole lot of stuff on them. Your pound said, did I miss something? Is Tracy doing some in-person crafting or something? We hadn't talked about it yet. Nope. Someone's asking us about it, but... Um, it's not on the calendar. It's not, not on any radar right now. <laughs> That's why I say go ahead and make your plans. Don't, you know. You know what, Gaytan? Gaytan is asking if people eat fish on Good Friday. It was a mom's tradition. I'm still doing it. You know what? I can remember my mother and them doing stuff like that. But as a kid, I didn't pay much attention to it because I pretty much just showed up at the table and whatever it was there. <laughs> you know, so that was my tradition. If it's there, it's going down. But once I left home, I, I didn't. It's not nothing. I continued. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Something I tend to still do, huh, Tracy? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. You're getting brand new, brand new. Huh? <laughs> yes, Lord, Bertha. 
Hold on. Bertha, Bill Bertha says, Bill, you know we had some bad boys back in the day. Oh, you could Bertha, you could take the porous. They had Chris Weber, Jalen uh, hold up. You could take the porous back in the day and play them against NCAA top ten teams and the porous probably would win. The who's porous the, was a high school in Detroit. Oh, I was gonna say who's the porous? Okay. They had five all Americans and they were all first team. <laughs> It was outrageous. I'm going to look. I don't like to use up. I like to use up every bit of paper I can. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Just stamp out joy on here. Oh, Joy Brown says, I did a, she said, mine is crafting. I did a throwback on my actual lunch today. I made a gift basket for a student struggling to make ends meet. Oh. Who is off sick with pneumonia. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying, Joy? Look, Joy. <laughs> now, trust me. That might be something, Joy, that that maybe as the years go by, it, it may get discarded somewhere in a history of long blessings you put out there. You, you might not, you might have trouble even remembering it, but I can promise you that student will never forget it, ever. See, I'm wetting it a little bit, and then I, I know I don't have my other tool, but this this will work. This will work, you know. Wrinkle it up a little bit. See how it's curving on its own. Right, Bertha. Fair five. That was it. Bertha, know some basketball. Wait a minute here. I need more. Let's see what I missed one of Eileen's earlier comments. Hold up. Eileen, I can't find it. When you say he has made another children's group, who who are we talking about? Eileen Moore? It might be Stephon Curry. It's either him or LeBron, one of the two. Okay, so you see how wrinkled that looks? But it's okay. It gives a nice little texture to your flower. Oh. And you can mix up the colors and stuff too. Paula says, I was so inspired by you all. I just made my first post to the group. Oh, I love it. I thought it fitting to post a card that introduced me to Tracy Bill Craft Roulette. Oh. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate that. See, drop some gems on there. Now you have an embellishment. Jill Pound, so you know, as I was rocking James to sleep, James, who now has the premier spot on our refrigerator. I was thinking about the vertical stamps. They would look good on those fence cards. They sure would. Jill, they would look really good on the fence cards. Yep. Okay, some spring embellishments. You know what I'm saying, Shay? Shay says, Bertha, I'm impressed with your sports skill. High five. Me too, Shay. Let's 
see I could put three on here and look how pretty that would look on a you know like on something you you said she's glad Jay's made the premier spot on the fridge <laughs> yep he's right there reading Miss Tracy's book I love it So if I was to do it like that, right, I'll pull that out a little bit. I could arrange it just on the outskirts a little bit. So let's see what happens when we do this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of curvature to this one. So I just want a little bit on this one, not, not too much. Oh. I'll wet that a little bit more. Sonia Creole, she, she told Paul Williams, I'm hoping to be your first com comment commentator, commenter on the post before Gay Tan. You better go now then, because you know how Gay Tan is like. There's people in that group already. Quick draw my draw. <laughs> Gay Tan is not play. Okay, when it comes to commenting and being first in line, it's my life. Tina Barker says, Tracy, how would it look to stamp letters on those cow print hearts? To stamp letters on them? On a, on a white background? Because I'm thinking to stamp letters on these is going to be a little bit... Mm, you might have to put a... You'd have there. to put something... Underneath it, I would think. Just so it'll stand out. But that's a good idea. See? Another idea coming. Ideas incoming. Okay. Bertha says, I'm waiting on the Olympics. I love the Olympics, too. Well, that's Tracy thing there, boy. Tracy and her sister Track they and can field. watch some Olympics. Track okay? and field. Okay, let's be specific. Ooh, they okay. know everybody from every country. I don't know everybody, but Yvonne does, though. This, this, the, um, I don't, yeah, I don't have, like, as much time as I used. Sometimes I watch the replay. But, um, they got yeah, we love it. On certain people. Like, I have certain people that just tracing it really follow them hardcore, like uh, like what Cindy McLaughlin and people like that. You know what I mean? Mommy Rocket, you know, people like that. So Hi, I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. You see, it just has a little bit of texture to it. I love that. And then if you want, you can put some gems on it. If you want to put a gem in the middle, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. <laughs> it then says, look, I am the one who opens the door to the craft room, okay? So Jennifer real hey, come on in. in. House, okay. Come on in. That part is true. Shauna says that is so free already. You had me hello. It's spring. Spring is that's the um this is the Easter collection, our Easter collection paper. So if you wanted to just say, oh, I want to use the plaid, you can just print out all the plaids and make stuff out of them. You know, that's the nice thing is you get to pick and choose which ones you want to um you want to craft with. So whichever ones you want to pick out. Okay, let's just put this straight on here. That green looks kind of nice with that blue. And you notice this stamp is right out of the package. It's not, there's no prepping. There's no, oh, I need to do such and such. You don't have to do anything to it. Brand new out of the package. 
So I'm using that little line right there just to grit and look how cute. Speaking of the Olympics, look how cute that is. I used to watch like to watch the dream team, basketball team. But that was back when they had like Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, people like that. Now the teams they put together, you can't be we pretend to call them the dream team. They may call them that, but that ain't it. They're not it. Barkley, all kind of people. These little butterflies will be cute. A nice little cute addition. Oh, what am I not doing here? I'm over here. Oh, I got this underneath. No wonder it's not stamping. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and that's some true. butterflies on here. That's true, Sonia Creel. Sonia says, every mom's magic space for the best work is the refrigerator. It really is. And uh, my kids, I my refrigerator was full. When they were little, the fridge was full. Oh, thank you. It would be and nice. Top to bottom, huh? Yep. Celebrate would be Front, nice. Front, sides, too. anywhere they can be seen. I kept everything. Okay. <laughs> even now, even in the craft room, I, you know. <laughs> Tracy had so much stuff on the refrigerator, you just had to know where the handles was to, to pull it open. Bill, I'm sure you, you remember where the handles were. Okay. <laughs> well, I was getting in. I'm sure you didn't forget where the handles were. <laughs> Handles it's going to, down, okay? I'm, I'm sure he didn't forget where the handles to the refrigerator were, okay? Anything. that That's one thing. He, <laughs> he may forget where the dish liquid is, the paper Whoa. towels, and all of that, but he, he's that. not going to forget where the... <laughs> I cannot believe He will that. not forget, y'all. He will not, okay? Don't y'all believe what Tracy's saying, <laughs> her implications. We don't have to worry about that. Don't you worry about a thing. Malaya, don't laugh at Tracy. <laughs> Some things will just not be forgotten, okay? <laughs> Y'all over there laughing, okay? Only Malaya. Everyone else knew that. Malaya's laughing. Malaya laughing too. Everyone okay. else said, "What is Tracy talking about? That's not even funny." Mm. Malaya. It's fall. Feel the breeze. Why am I singing fall? Because it has a breeze outside. You know, because it feels like the lean from the tree. Oh, leaves are growing now. Red leaves, yellow leaves, brown leaves, and orange leaves. <laughs> Tracy Bertha, Bertha says, Tracy, I like track and field too. Also love the gymnastics, men and women. I can watch all of it. Oh, yes. Gymnastics uh, too. The gymnastics and... Um, that's my girl. What is the other one? Some old bows, okay. I love to watch the diving too. I used to like when that one guy was swimming. What's his name? Uh, diving and uh, oh yeah, the swimming too. The swimming gets you riled up. Who, Michael Phelps? I like Michael Phelps. I remember Mark Spence. Oh, she was talking about Stephon Curry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephon Curry. Sorry, my phone was acting up. His whole family, his wife, all of them. They just like they on point. Julie Jones likes to, likes to ice skating. 
Oh, yes. Ice skating, too. Okay, that's the other one, too. Ice the skating. The speed racing part or the figure skating part of it, Julie? Mm -hmm. The ice skating, babe. Well, they have some of the race with ice skates. Around this, like, I know. Track. We're talking about, like, figure skating. Yeah, I like the figure skating mm -hmm. better. At least that's what I'm thinking. She, she might be talking about. I remember back in the day, though, I'm from the age, my, I'm at the age where I remember Nadia Komanichi and what's the other girl, Tracy? Uh, it was Nadia Komanichi. What was the, what was the other ones before Nadia? Oh, Mary Lou, Olga Corbett. Mary Lou Retton, Olga Corbett. Olga Corbett, okay. Please, you talking about? After Olga Corbett, people must thought they might as well just retire to gymnastics. They didn't think nobody would be better than that. But they keep getting better. Just when you think you've seen it all, here comes somebody else. Just when you think you've seen it all. So you put a little, a little something under there to make it pop. I'm determined to use my scraps today. Wow, it's 151 already? Crystal, you better let them kids take you out, take their has, mama out. Where has the time gone? You don't understand, Crystal. Please. See, mother, this is different than a daddy. See, most guys, like from a male perspective, I can be with my friends, they can talk about my daddy, and I, I laugh and help him. Your daddy, your be sure is. But they say something about my mother, Bill, hey, Bill, man, your mom, my mama, what? Oh, the mama joke. What? <laughs> well, now hold up. Wait, wait, Bill, don't get us so brown up. I was just going to say, I saw your mother at Kmart. I <laughs> better look, next time say, I was at Kmart, and then I saw your mama. But if you say your mama, you ain't going to get to the Kmart part. Because I have tears in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> kids could be brutal, though, can't they? I say all that just to say, Crystal, let them kids come there and take that, take that mom out, please. I like anything. Yes, that, that plaid paper is the, um, the Easter collection. I already put it in. I put the link okay, up. Okay, thanks, babe. Yeah, I like anything. I don't care. In the Olympics, they can be doing marbles, okay? I remember watching table tennis one time. It came on. I'm talking. I, I couldn't even get off of the... I couldn't even get off of uh, off of watching it. It was so incredible. I'm going to add some butterflies to this, y'all. Butter butterflies would be perfect for this. Well, Linda Huff is making us... Breakfast, Tracy. Oh. Bacon, cheese, grits, and toast. Berry tea. I'm coming over, Linda. Yummy. These little butterflies are from... Marjorie White. What was the name of this butterfly? Spread your wings. Spread your wings, yeah. I keep forgetting. Spread your wings stamp set. You better spread your wings. And that's another retired stamp set, too. That was a hard one to let go. To spread your wings. We be replacing that one. I don't know how many times. Let's see. I'll put some a little bit of green in this one here. Something to make the outside. 
pop a little bit on this. Suma Jones says, I've been making tiny Easter baskets. I need one more enhancement, then I'll share a photo. Lynn Huffman says, I'm set up now at church to show your tutorials during my faith booking ministry meeting. Oh! She's sitting up at church now? Yes. Well, hello, everyone. Hi, Linda Huffman's people. I appreciate you people. tuning in. <laughs> Linda Huffman's people. <laughs> Well, shout out to you all. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate that. Carmina, you never had grits. You're fired. Hold on, Hector, you need to go watch a tutorial and make, and, and make Carmina some grits, okay? Southern style. She'll never be the same, okay? Mm. Well, go cut off them antennas so the antenna can have a fit. Look, I need to make me some. Um, exactly, some Cindy Piper. Cindy Piper. Some shrimp and grits. I hadn't had shrimp and grits Ooh. in a while. I need to make some of those. Hold up, Carmina ain't had grits. You know she can't handle no shrimp and grits. Hector, look up shrimp and grits. Hector, like, look. <laughs> look, Hector can can burn. Yes, okay? he can. Okay. He's a keeper. Hey, heck, look He's up. a keeper. Louis, Louisiana style shrimp and grits. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> oh, Linda says, no, not today. They, it, it's going to be in the third Saturday in April. Oh, nice. Okay, Ooh. I need to come up with my, with the dates for Mindless Crafting at Midnight. And we need to do another, um... Scrapathon. So I'm going to have the dates for those for April coming soon. Sarah Johnson, I hate to tell you this, but you are in fact fired because Sarah Johnson doesn't eat grits, okay? Cindy Piper says, I remember eating hominy flakes for breakfast. My aunt and me used to make hominy. I used to love it. Oh my God. It was, well, I don't know about flakes. It was a whole, like, this big, round-looking thing. I love those things. Ooh, and Ryan, me and Tracy both like cream of wheat. Huh? Don't you like cream of wheat? No. You don't? I'm like, who are you talking about? You're, You're like, like, me and Tracy like cream of wheat. Me, I was the one eating up all that cream of wheat in there. You're the only one that ate it, okay? It was going so fast, I just knew I had to have help. Look, you better be glad I didn't remove that thing from the cart, from the cart, okay? Hold up, Sarah Johnson, have you ever had... Like he like cream of wheat. Have you ever had cream of rice? I don't know who he talking about, me and Tracy like cream of wheat. I just, I, I, truly, I wasn't eating that much. Bill, after 17 years, I told you that I don't <laughs> like cream of wheat. I don't like cream of wheat. Want some? I don't like cream of wheat. You want? What about now? I don't like cream of wheat. <laughs> okay. I guess you don't like. What about cream of rice? Y'all. <laughs> I don't like cream of rice. I don't like rice eggs, babe. You know what? Bill, why are you interviewing you me as if we don't Johnson know? As fired, if we haven't okay? been together for like 18 years. Y'all are fired. Both of you're y saying this for the first time. Good. Then then you won't be able to eat any of my Easter uh, dinner. Oh, good. Now that that's settled. <laughs> what about corn on the cob? Cindy Piper talking about they grew their own corn on the cob. Joy Brown said she didn't want cream or nothing, you know, just oatmeal. Joy Brown, you and Tracy are You're going to make fire, Tracy okay? turn that. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, 
Chris was fired. Okay? Yeah. Chris was fired. <laughs> oh, Crystal. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 Spell check error. Oh you know, her mind was thinking. She said, spells, "Omit that." But her fingers was thinking something else. <laughs> you meant chair. Crystal yeah. meant chair. I'm gonna turn that chair around, <laughs> right, Crystal? <laughs> That's what her 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 <sighs> mind thought. Her fingers said, "I'm telling the truth." Okay. <laughs> he can used to eat. He been married to someone else, Carmina. You say eat Quaker grits cold. That <laughs> make you not like grits. I guess if we went on the game show, we would lose because Bill has no idea who I am. Poor Crystal, she said she don't have her glasses on. <laughs> she wants you to strike her comment out. <laughs> okay, let me do it. I'll do it. Case, oh, that's uh, funny. You... Oh, the YouTube police might put her in jail time. <laughs> okay, I got rid of that one. But it was funny. <laughs> Everybody gonna look for Crystal comment. I mean, what's she saying? Like, what did she say? You had to be there to know, okay? And the only way to know was to be there. <laughs> be you know there. what, Chris? It's not just your iPhone. Every, <laughs> everything fin finishes stuff for you now. It does. Everything. You can start trying to type it in. A I saw on Facebook now they, they have this thing where it finishes the... um. Finishes your sentences. Right, I'm like, thought. I was editing a video, Tracy, when I edited the video last night. Mm -hmm. It finished up my words before I was like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. Let me at least try to pretend to type the thing in. Hi, Kitty May. How's Eli doing? <laughs> Dawn, that's hilarious. Dawn said, Tracy, in May, I will be married 30 years, and my husband cannot remember what food I like. Dawn, or don't I'm like. telling Mr. Connor. There Mr. you go. Connor. What, uh, Gigi? So, Joy going to be like. You hear what Gigi uh, said? What? Gigi said, Tracy, he's talking about Jerome's girlfriend. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Gigi. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, Carmen said, I can't talk to Hector right now because he's cooking. <laughs> is he, I, and I don't want to bother is him. Is he cooking food that you like to eat? Or is he making cream of wheat? Because Bill will pick up stuff like, I do not want, uh, what is it? What is that thing you picked up that day? Hot sauce ketchup. I did get that, didn't I? Bill went and put hot sauce ketchup in the cart, y'all. I had to look at him like... I said, don't you like hot sauce? Don't you like ketchup? I said so. Why not get it together? <laughs> there is a hot sauce ketchup, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> we have hot sauce at home, and we have ketchup. <laughs> but yeah, but we can kill two birds with one stone. We don't have hot sauce ketchup. <laughs> Oh my goodness! You can't make these things. Sometimes you be so hungry, you don't feel like doing it. You'll have just enough energy to just reach for one thing. Well, there's something terribly wrong with you. Now, I don't want to say I have. Do I want to use my remaining strength to either get the hot sauce or either get the ketchup? And you know what? I was waiting for him to actually use the hot sauce ketchup. <laughs> I was like, he better not go in that cabinet <laughs> and get nothing else but he that. He better not get the ketchup go in that or cabinet. The hot sauce. <laughs> Get that ketchup or the hot sauce. Because you got hot sauce ketchup in there. And you know she did it, don't she? You think she playing? Tracy could be upstairs and <sighs> she hear the slightest you creak, the slightest creak in the cabinet. You better not be using hot sauce ketchup. Because I know you, babe. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Oh, my God. Some hot sauce ketchup. <laughs> Woo. 
I love it. Y'all, like, I, I can't even. Look how you know what I'm saying? And Ryan says, what? You never heard of Hot Sauce Kitchen? What? Man, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Glory Wolf. Hot Sauce Kitchen. Yeah, I heard of them separately. Okay. Girl, Storm, separately. Storm. She doesn't like hot sauce or ketchup. There you go. You are fired, Zale, okay? And so I'm thinking, hot sauce ketchup, hmm, high sodium. Art's house. I remember Peggy Fleming. Peggy Fleming was bad, wasn't she, Trace? Oh, yes. Ice skater. Yep. Oh, they got this ice skater out now so bad. She does routines so incredible that they, they tried to get the pan Olympic judging panel together to make up a rule to say she can't do certain events. I mean, certain... Uh, Routines because nobody else in the world can do them. And I think that's you said up. now. What's her name? I forgot her name, but she was doing something that was just incredible, and they made up a rule to say you can't do it. It's not my fault they can't do it. They better get busy. Cindy Piper, Cindy Piper. I saw what you did with that spring kit, Cindy. She has a video in the group, y'all. Y'all have got to. Got. <laughs> Rita. Y'all have got to see her watch how what she does with the um with the paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. G O R J U S. Gorgeous. With exclamation point on it. <laughs> Hector said, "What kind of grits?" We know what Hector. I like like regular. Oh, let me let me cut out some of these other things. Grits, here. Right? I will eat cheese grits if that's what's there, but I, if given a choice, I prefer the pure grits. But now Tracy really loves shrimp and grits. If that's on the menu, so you're you know making those. I never made that. You made it one time. You made a good one too. Remember that? I remember. Tracy got off on the shrimp and grits. Okay. Ooh, Gloria. Okay, Gloria's talking about her her sister her number two uses mustard and ketchup for his French fries. And A1 sauce on his baked potato for hold on. I I don't I like the uh not A1. What's the other one called Trace I always get? It's not A1, it's uh Heinz 57. Ooh, Heinz 57. Hmm. Yeah. They, ooh, they, there you go, Kitty Mae. There you go. That's what we're talking about right there. Oh, they, they did see Cindy's um Kitty Mae. It, it, it gotta be made. It can't be instant. It gotta be the long cooking ones. We're talking about Cindy Piper's project, okay? I'm talking about... It's incredible. Have me? you seen it in the group? No. It is absolutely incredible. Oh, I got to look this. Cindy Piper, I'm going to go right now. <laughs> Cindy, I can't it's even... It's a video. Oh. It's, it's really, really pretty. She did that. It's got all kind of compartments in there. Cindy Piper doing some stuff up in here, okay? A1 is my favorite. Tracy, look at Paula Williams' card. <gasps> Paula, you're the one that did that card? Paula, we see Paula, it. Paula, we saw that card on the... Um, In the Minus Crafting Group. No, on Craft Roulette. That was her Craft Roulette card. Right, 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 right. That's that is gorgeous, okay? Oh, here's Cindy Piper right here. Let me get out the group and finish this. I'm not supposed to be in the group right now. Cindy Piper doing stuff. Cindy Piper put her foot in that project. Cindy Piper, get your foot out this project. Yes, Gay Ten, go look at Cindy's um project. She put it in the group. Look at all these compartments she got up in here. Mm-hmm. You will be inspired for sure. Cindy, you felt like a mad scientist when you made this, didn't you? Cindy was not playing. You know what? That's a craft on steroids. When you start making stuff like that, you did that thing. How long did it take you to create that, Cindy? Odelia's back. Cindy said it took me a time to get that first pop up right, though. Oh, you did it. You were determined to make that thing right. That thing, you you definitely did it. 
You, exactly, Bertha. She says she has to use 57 because A1 sauce chokes her. I don't like A1. They say, so what? The A1 people like me don't care. I'm just surprised there's a sauce that you don't the like. Heinz 57, okay? What's my favorite sauce, Bill? Sriracha. Oh, he knows. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Tracy will put okay. sriracha on cornflakes, okay? Look, I'm going to have to ask him 50 questions. <laughs> just so he can get to know me again, okay? What? Oh, they, it is, says, Tracy, I was so happy when I saw your comment about my craft roulette card. Oh, sweet. I tried to comment. Got, look, I try not to be in the group, like, very, very long because before I know it, I'll be in there hours. <laughs> and I like to go and see what y'all are doing, you know? Right. I love seeing what y'all do. Katie Macy, in terms of instance, she says, Grit, she says, oh, yes, never instant, only in extreme emergencies. You know what it's like? Okay, okay. If you, When you start the cooking process with a non-instant grit, it's like something that has the potential to grow to be a giant 10 feet tall. Mm. But if you get instant, and then you start from there, from the instant package, it will never reach the giant category may get to about a five footer or six footer maybe at best but it'll never reach its full potential i don't know what they do to it to make it not be able to do it but it just don't i agree cindy cindy says rosa kelly makes beautiful albums oh yes she does i just like watching her stuff <laughs> well she has i have to try one out at some point Bye Shay. Bye, Shay. Thanks for joining us. And sharing your channel with us. I'm going to go watch some of those after this. Paula says, thank you. She, we have her smiling from ear to ear. Now, oh. You know, Paula, when you say that, I, I visualize your smile going literally from one ear to the next. <laughs> Ah. Child, did you see Paula smile? No, I couldn't look at it, okay? It was going from ear to ear. Hi, Patricia Costa. This little beauty right here, this is actually a freebie. Is this still a freebie? This is not a freebie anymore, is it? This was a freebie. It's now in the um, the digital library. Right. You can get all of the digitals in that one digital library, and this is one of the ones that's in there. Hold up, uh, Carmina. So what did Hector make? What did Hector cook for you? So I know if I need to come and raid your house. Hector be throwing down, okay? Hector be talking about what I won't do, do for love. I'll cook everything for Carmina. <laughs> In my world, only you, Carmina, make me cook for you like I would not do. Oh, Bertha, you just finished cutting. Cutting 16 of the butterflies from the kit. Awesome. Get that spring kit out. Okay. Shit, Tom, you think I'm leaving? I'm staying to the end of this live. <laughs> Shit. 
Shay. Shay was like, who told y'all to? And I think we've gone over the time now, too. Y'all ain't gonna have Bill fussing at me. I can't even find it. So well, I'm, I'm gonna be green. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I remember now. The digital library. I think that would be cute to have a little crafty ma texture on there. Like, don't be saying my name. Uh, say my name, say my name. Okay, here's that crafty image. Gloria library. Wolf, that is so good to hear. Oh, what happened, Gloria? I didn't see the comment. Where? No, I was respond. I saw that someone said Gloria uh, Wolf. That is so good to hear. Cordelia okay, said that. I go find what Gloria's here. Oh, her son is home. Awesome. When's the last time you saw him, Gloria? That's awesome. Kathy Ma says I don't like grits, but one day hubby had taken me to the grocery store. It was serving breakfast, and, and the lady that made them, she made some grits and told her how they were the best. You know, sometimes you would cross, over, cross paths with people who would cook stuff that you have hated all your life. And when they make it, you're like, oh, my God. This is going to be cute. I'm going to add it to the heart here. Hey, somewhere around here. With you. Just somewhere around here. Add it to the heart with the butterfly. And then drop a sentiment on it. Amy, I, 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 I eat grits several different ways. Amy likes her grits with butter and sugar. I've done that. I've done it with the salt and, and butter. And then I've done it with butter, salt, and sugar. Depends on how I feel that day. Oh, her son was three and a half weeks in the hospital. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Well, so glad he's home. But no, no, no. I know you're happy. Please. And Ryan says she loves distress oxides. They are, they, they do make a statement, don't they? Do you use them in a particular way? Hmm. Now, what color should I color this at the bottom? I could color it yellow. That way it'll be matching the um, the cup since the cup has stripes on it. Timmy says she loves rice. And she can eat it every day. I've been too busy with that Dolly Parton uh, icing. Okay, <laughs> I need to stop. Please. I can't help myself. Holly Parton is not playing. Am I removing my butterfly? I am. I'm going to put this on this side. I just put this right on here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Dolly Parton. <laughs> now here's something else I was looking at. Oh, Jill went and picked up some of it today. Mm. Well, you didn't.
didn't get that. I didn't. You, you, you can't um can't totally throw all of the uh stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Can't do all of it. You can do some, but not all of it. Let's see. Larry Wolf says next time I bake a cake, I get some Dolly party, uh, some Dolly frosting. Guess what? Tracy was on her, uh, I don't know if it's TikTok or Instagram or whatever, but there were so many people talking about the Dolly Parton frosting. I did not know it was a thing. And then someone said that there's been a huge run on the Dolly Parton, that chocolate one. Right. Um, and now people are reselling it. On, well, some people, people are reselling the like $20 ice. Twenty dollars a can. The frosting. Some of them were thirty dollars, and I was like, "What?" Well, one lady came on was talking about how. She'd order some other frosting, and they sent her that one because they had run out of the other one, and she was about to get mad, and she had that frosting. She said, child, I started eating the frosting out the can. I was like... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are eating it without any cake. They're just eating the frosting. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. Hey, Peggy, you got us on the big screen. Peggy... Hello, <laughs> Peggy. Well, hello, Peggy. It's so nice to have you back where you belong, Peggy. You're looking swell, Peggy. I can tell, Peggy. You're still growing, you're still growing, you're still. Growing strong. I don't know the rest of the words, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Jill Pounds, yes, Lord, rice and eggs. That's my thing right there. Ooh, it shouldn't be my thing. It really shouldn't. But it is. But you continue. Rice and eggs, okay? I can eat no, that. she has a question mark. She said rice and eggs. She oh, <laughs> well, I don't care because exactly, I love it. Jill. He, he don't care, Jill. He don't Rice care. Rice and eggs are not playing, okay? He doesn't care. You So you heard it. Y'all heard it. Thank you. Thanks for the song. <laughs> And now I'm taking the hello sent. Look, I just went and got the hello sentiment. I got the hello sentiment. Some frosting are too sugary. Yeah, some are, are really too sugary. This one, this one is good though. I like the balance of it. Because I don't like my stuff too sweet. It's just it's just too much. Okay, so this is what we got so far, y'all. And so you could add this to a card, a tag. Um, this will make a cute little topper thingy, right? Um, there's so many things. I could put this in my paper hugs, too. Ooh, I could put some. I didn't even get to use these. I was going to make a flower out of these right here. I didn't get to use those. Well. Thank you, Donna. There is a video coming out this afternoon. There's a tutorial. Oh, oh Bertha was the one who said it. That she likes rice and eggs. That's it, Bertha. Ooh, hey, Bertha, he's in the pod up in here, okay? Mm. Jill Pound said, first said she didn't like it. She, she says, but I take it back because I do like chicken fried rice. Now, I do like that. Mm-hmm. 
Well, dear, you're going to have to go back and see how I made the... <laughs> Ooh, I am going to be having some fun with these vertical sentiments, okay? I'm going to have, I'm going to be, look, I'm going to be stamping out on every kind of strip of paper that there is. I tell you what. People talking about different type of ways. They've, they've seen people cook eggs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're also talking about um, like Chinese meals and stuff like that. There are some people on there. you talking about that can make some Chinese. I'm there where? On, on YouTube. On the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok has a lot of tutorials people, too. And when they make it, it looks so easy, but you could tell it's going to be good. I try to stay away from some of them because it, it just makes me want to just Eat. make all kind of stuff. Exactly, Selena. Sounds like a vulture outside, don't it? That thing do sound kind of big, don't it? <laughs> it don't sound like a bird. You know, birds are <laughs> like, go get tweet, it. tweet. This one, ha ha, ha ha. I'm like, what is going to sound the window? I'm shocked Strawberry's not looking at it. Strawberry's, Strawberry's been in the room all this time, just as quiet as can be. She got ran this morning. Okay, so that's about it. I, I think I have um I think the thing I can do is one more of these um what time is it babe? 227. <gasps> what? Teresa Hunter says do they were talking about scrambled eggs and oatmeal. But Teresa Hunter says do not count this out. She thought it was crazy until she tried it. What? Scrambled eggs and oatmeal. Mm. That, make sound, you that, make you some, that, that sounds like the... No, I had my share of eggs for the day. I'll make you some. Not today. When? I'm good. Tomorrow? How about the next day? Now, scrambled eggs and oatmeal is, is like... Um, what do you call it? Hot sauce ketchup? <laughs> oh, Peggy. Peggy said, my kitty died Sunday. Oh, no. We're so sorry. Oh, boy. Any pet is a part of the family, okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, the pets are like... It could be an iguana. If you love that iguana, it becomes a part of the family, okay? But especially cats and dogs. It could be any pets. I remember when the... Uh... And Chelsea and Ariel had a hamster. Did they love it? You know what? I thought that they, because you know, now you got to have discussion. It's smaller than, and they had, we had to have a discussion about death and dying, you know, that kind of thing, right? And I had like, was trying to find the right moment to break it to them that the hamster died. And as I finished telling them the hamster died, they were silent for a moment. And then one of them burst out and was like, can we get a cat now? I'm like, okay. That sounds like Chelsea. <laughs> they got over that quick. I'm thinking it's going to go south. There's going to be tears and all of that stuff. Can we get a cat now? <laughs> Hold up. I remember Chelsea. Remember Chelsea, she begged for a fish tank, a fish Remember, she wanted some fish. Because Mark, my brother-in-law, had this incredible fish tank, right? Oh, the one that wouldn't... Um, which one? Are you talking about the fish that we had for a long, long right, time? Right, so what happened? So we said, okay, we're going to start off with one of these little fish bowls. And depending on how you do, we may get a tank. But got to make sure you clean, it, clean the bowl and this and that. Please. Chelsea had the bowl. It was, it was so bad. We didn't even know a fish was in there. The only way you knew a fish—it was so murky. The water. The fish had to scrape along the side of the of the of the glass to know to know it was alive. And the fish was still thriving. So finally, finally, she cleaned out the fish tank. Guess what happened? Fish dies. <laughs> it, it wasn't because it had become adapted to that type of water. The fish went and died. It couldn't I even handle like, clean oh, fish water no. anymore. Carmina, the, the fish, it was, it was, the bowl was so dirty. <laughs> the fish had a white flag, okay? 
Give me the toilet. Yeah. Our pets are become our, they're like our little, um, what do you call it? They just love you. You ever see how the pet looks at you? Oh, my God. No matter what, the pet's just wanting to be pet, you know. And so they, they're just so, like, happy to see you. They're just good. Simon looks like y'all keep just crying, don't he? Look at me. Look at me loving you so much. Yep. Just begging for attention. So they're used to getting attention from me. Oh, uh, what are you about to say? <laughs> what are you about to say? They're used to getting attention from me, okay. I think they happy right they just hear me say their name. Yep, they just be happy if they they know the person that's oh gonna give them the God, most attention. He's actually said he actually said strawberries right, instead, instead of, of dog. Not dog. Right. <laughs> hey, dog. But they do become your little precious. <laughs> They're just so precious. That's the. I, I'm. In, I'm just in love with the, the um. The utterly, digitals. So Donna Saturday, how you doing? Look at Craft of Love 55. Craft of Love 55 says, Tracy, I'm so used to seeing the vintage photo used for inking the edges, but I see uh, the color looks good, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Peggy. So what was your cat's name? Donna says she's doing good. She had to break down and eat something. Mm. I wish I could say I oh, understand. Oh, that's good. That's but, fine. Uh, Three and two. Oh, guess what the cat's name was, Tracy? What? Oreo. Oh. So sweet. That is sweet. Amy's talking about her pressure cooker. I tell you what, my mother and grandmother testified by the pressure cooker. Did I have one of those things, the pressure cooker? Mm-hmm. People don't use those hardly no more, do they? I mean, we have the slow cooker. Because they have air fryers and all that kind of stuff. Slow cooker, air these really look good, Tracy. Thank you. So I'm just, I, I was just filling in. Um, I had one of these that I had already. I had one of the cows that I had already um, used before. So I'm just trying to. I think it'll be cute to put it right there. And then add it to whatever. Amy says with a pressure cooker, you can cook chicken so soft that you can actually chew the bones. Mm-hmm. That's a slow cooker, too. Slow cooker, you just put that thing on. Oh, and the smell all through the house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. Everyone's praying for Oreo. I tell you what, Tracy, mom, she made some neck bones the other day. Oh, my goodness. I actually Aren't they could good? chew the bones. They were so good. I was like, oh, my God. And we were like, oh, we got to. We're going to go home, take a shower, you know, eat. And she just like, y'all want some of these? Uh, the house was smelling good when we walked in. And we had just come off the trail, so we were already hungry. So that was a win-win. Zell talking about, glad my son isn't here because he's been eating Oreos like crazy. and told me yesterday he could have four cookies. Then I heard him in the kitchen trying to get more. <laughs> so I told him he could have two. Zell, stuff like Oreos, if you want your, your kid to have four, you better get the four, take them out, and lock the other ones in a safe, okay? And get an armed guard to stand next to the safe. That'd be the only way.
Hmm. Arnie Glover says, I love neck bones and rice and tomatoes. Oh, wow. I didn't really mess around with neck bones. I met like Tracy now. I say like, neck bones. Then I had them. I was like, ooh, neck bones. I'm going to tell you what I never really messed with for, until, uh, until I met Tracy. Oxtails. I seen them before. I was like, oxtails? What foods did you eat, though, when I met you? Pork chops. Fried chicken and stuff like that. And who was cooking all of that? My mother, grandmother, great grandmother. Before I met you. Me. Oh, you were cooking all that? You don't like my stuff. You don't like I pork didn't know chops. you can cook all of that. Oh yeah, the pork chops are just too much. I mean it's not that I don't like them. It's just that, you know, I'm trying to, you know, you know, do the healthy thing for you. And like then get rid of the Dolly Parton cake, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna That's bake why any I have more you cakes. On bread and water. I'm not gonna do any more of the Dolly Parton cakes for you, babe. We're gonna get get back on track and do our thing. Jill Pounds, you know what? Jill says I need a good pork chop recipe. I I tend to go to YouTube and I will fluctuate around and try different people's stuff. Angela. Angela Snyder, you are not kidding. She says, oh my God, oxtails are so good, and they are. Yes, they are. This is so cute, I don't even have to put a sound Exactly. Valerie Linda says, she has a cookie thief, too. He can't take this, too. He eat the whole box if they hide him. Yeah, we have one in the house, too. Ooh, Cordelia, I'm coming over. Oh, look at me. Tracy looked at me when she said that. We decided we would get the, the Oreo, the Oreo thins. Okay, please. Oh my God, please! I don't know what Bill thought. That, like the Oreo thins have less calories. Oh, right? they taste so good. I went and got the Oreo fix. The way we call them. I said that my logic was if the thins taste this good, then the super big ones must really be off the chain. Ali Moore loves oxtails too. Cordelia says, my husband is smoking some sausage, and we're having it for supper with collard greens and black eyed peas. Bill loves sausage, too. I do. Coming over, Cordelia. Don't let him. Don't let him, Cordelia. <laughs> How adorable is that? Oh, my goodness. Now I could take my, um, the blue. Yeah, let me take the blue marker and just go right around the edge ever so gently. Sonia Creel, she's talking about Peggy's, uh, okay, I call it this, Polish sausage. Now, I don't know what it's really called. Is it Polish, right? Polish sausage? I, we grew up calling it Polish sausage. I mean, it's a Polish sausage. Hold up, Ontario. They're expensive in any area. She says, my husband loves oxtails, but they're very expensive. Oh, they are very area. expensive. It's ridiculous. Well, how do we cook our oxtails? I don't. I go right over here to, uh, what's the name of that place? Trace, the oxtail place. Oh, the uh, Royal Caribbean. Yes, right? Lord. I mean, not Royal Caribbean. What is it called? Golden Caribbean. The Caribbean, Golden Caribbean, Royal Caribbean. I must need to go on a cruise. Whatever it is, that's um, where we go. The Caribbean Bakery. Maybe. Golden Crust. They do a good job. Oh not God. not all of them are the same though. But the Golden Crust, we like the one. Um, but oxtail is a very long process to cook. I mean, it's extremely long and it's very expensive. And I can't justify spending that much money when I could go have someone else cook it for me. And just go pick it up. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yes, Jill Pound, Don Connors, and Patricia Costa, and Amy K. Kiabasta. Oh yes, black eyed pea, peas and rice. Paula, Paula K. Williams, you're speaking my language. And not everyone can cook oxtail like I like the Jamaican style oxtail. Mm. Jamaica's own to something, okay? I love me some. It's a lot of oxes walking oxtail. around with no tails uh, out there. I tell you that.
they are a very long uh, process to cook. Yeah, you can like pre-boil them and stuff. I like to make sure that the seasoning is like really cooked into them. Because my thing is to get the seasoning like just seared onto the oxtail. But that's just a whole nother thing. I saw Let's a guy see. on YouTube. I actually wanted I, if if oxtails didn't cost so much, I would probably try it. It was a lemon pepper oxtail. He fried it all after he did everything to get it super tender. Then he took it and fried it like it was like it's like in a lemon pepper sort of way. Then he made his own ranch sauce or something. <laughs> he would dip it in the ranch sauce. I'm looking at Gay Ten's comment. But I don't want to mess up the oxtails. Gay Ten, I'm getting ready to get off now. Uh, Gay Ten. Please. I'm getting ready to get off here. It's so nice to spend this time together. <laughs> Just to have a laugh. Or sing a song. And we did. <laughs> How cute is that? Why? Every time I sing that song, I feel like singing. We know that sand <laughs> is on its way. Dee -dee 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 And every mother's child is gonna cry when they see that reindeer really know how to fly. I wonder why they put their crap they saw the reindeer fly. Because it's unbelievable. It's oh. like, oh my goodness, it's magical. Mm. So I just checked and the Dolly Parton Duncan Hines cake mixes are not available in Canada. Oh, man. The fire, Valerie. All People are them. price gouging those things. I did not know that Dolly Parton icing was a thing. I did not know it. I just, I just said, wow, this really tastes good when I baked that first cake. And I must have baked at least five cakes since then. But this is going to be my last one this Easter weekend. This is going to be the last one for like for now. But then someone said, um, someone said that the coconut, her, her coconut cake, I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> someone said the coconut cake is really good. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Let's see what y'all saying. <laughs> Not ready for Christmas songs just yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, just finally got rid of it, Christmas. Really? To be honest, back when I was a kid, oxtail was a poor person's meal. They were cheap and neck bones... Two, yep. Now they are sky high. Yep. The price is easing up. The oxtail, though. I mean, like a pack of I oxtail, $40. Yeah. Yep. Y'all have a wonderful, a blessed Easter weekend. I know y'all are going to have an enjoyable weekend. I don't know if any of y'all are crafting a little bit this weekend also. Hopefully you have wonderful weather. Thanks to Steve Reed for coming on the live today. What a blessing that was. We appreciate it. Peggy, we're going to keep you in our prayers. Um, you know, for the loss of your kitten, your cat. Um, you know, because our fur babies are family. I don't care what anyone says. I have a hard time even just looking at, you know, like seeing a dog that's stray or lost. Like I, I go on the, um, we have the ring on, on our 
uh, door. So I go on the Ring app to go and look. And sometimes I see lost pets in the area. So I'm always like looking around like to see if there's a pet that I need to rescue, you know? So, yeah. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and head off of here. You're... Your um, if you ordered, if you pre-ordered these two stamp sets, they're gonna be shipped out tomorrow. If you ordered these in the um, in the bundle, so the kit where you ordered both of these, the bundle, is going to ship tomorrow. So we'll make sure we have that out to you, so y'all can get these in your hands real quick. These are available individually, also in the store now. So. Um, the bundle order has closed. The pre-order has closed. And you still can get these now individually. So these are in the store. Y'all take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.